Ma'am, I must protest. Last week, senior officers who work in this building issued a statement declaring they would not be investigating the unlawful Christmas party held in Downing Street last year. The statement claimed a criminal inquiry is not possible because there is, quote, an absence of evidence. Correct me if I'm wrong here, ma'am, but the whole purpose of a police inquiry is to gather evidence. But because your officers are unwilling to get off their backsides and find it, my team are bringing that evidence direct to Scotland Yard. First though, for the benefit of the Metropolitan Police, let's remind ourselves what the rules were in December 2020. The law stated, no person may participate in a gathering in the Tier 3 area, which consists of two or more people and takes place in any indoor space. Government guidance was similarly clear. You must not have a work, Christmas, lunch or party where that is primarily social activity. The day before the party, Scotland Yard shut down a wedding where 40 people were in attendance. The officers working in this building released a statement saying, quote, holding large gatherings could be the difference between life and death for someone else. London is in tier three. You must not mix inside with anyone who is not in your household or support bubble. Indeed, we also know the Met are currently prosecuting people for allegedly holding a party in Ilford on December the 18th, 2020, the same night that number 10 staff and their guests knocked back wine and played party games until 2 a.m. Nobody denies an event took place at 10 Downing Street. The issue is a simple one. Was it, as number 10 claims, a work meeting or was it a party? Let's look at the evidence. It's now been established that invitations were sent out by the press team three weeks before the event and that invitees included people who don't work in Downing Street. The invitation said food and wine would be served and there would be an exchange of gifts. Some people wore Christmas jumpers to the event, while others brought secret Santa presents. According to one person who was there, you might call them a witness, quote, Everyone was packed shoulder to shoulder. If it looks like a party, sounds like a party, stinks of booze and goes on to 2 a.m., it's an effing party. Now, I didn't float up the lagging in a bubble and neither did the British public. That is no work meeting. And of course, even Downing Street staff called the event a party. We know this because four days later, they held a mock press conference, footage of which has now been leaked, where they explicitly described it as a party, except that it would be controversial because it was held during lockdown and discussed ways to present it to the public as a business meeting. Of course, if Metropolitan Police officers are worried about an absence of evidence that a party took place, they would do well to remember that the numerous people not employed at Number 10 who reportedly attended the party could only have gained access to it by coming to the gates of Downing Street and giving their names to a Metropolitan Police Officer. But Scotland Yard is refusing to investigate. Why? When did we stop caring about truth and accountability? It's not a rhetorical question, ma'am. The police serve the public. We do so without fear or favor, and we do so to the letter of the law, the letter. Our leaders partied while families were separated and our citizens died in their thousands. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, led by the wee donkey. Who exactly does the Metropolitan Police work for, ma'am? Our citizens? or Boris Johnson.